AM.co.za does not manufacture its own print heads. It makes use of the highly esteemed Epson print heads, so we have no say over the manufacturing process. However, what we can do is consistently come up with better ways for our clients to take care of their print heads. Now, what causes print head clogging? We asked one of our technicians what the biggest cause of print head clogging is out there. All right, when I go on call outs, the biggest problem with Epson XP600 print heads that I've come across are the following. One, uh, the print head being uh, clogged, uh, such that when I do a nozzle test, I can't get all the nozzle colors to print. Two, dampers running empty. And three, no electrical discharge or no printing of any nozzle test. Why do print heads clog? One, your ink cap can get worn out, meaning that the rubber that is supposed to seal the print head is no longer sealing the print head effectively. Two, on your dampers, they, can, they also have internal filters in them. They can also clog up. And then three, your inks can settle in the tanks and create a sludge at the bottom, or the inks can get too old in the tanks, creating a sludge that will go through the ink pipes through into the dampers, the dampers being blocked. And since dampers are filters, they are not 100% foolproof on filtering or the sludge. So some of it can still enter the printer. So the first obvious step was to introduce auto cleaning features on the printers. And what about the print heads themselves? Well, AM currently has three preventative options available. Let's start with a specialized silicone rubber sealer. On the printer types of XP600, we've got this most common one coming with a silicone seal surrounding the circuit board and separating it from the printed uh, nozzle section. So with this printed, it was guarded such that if ink is to go onto the circuit board, it protects it. However, it does not protect it from ink flowing through into the terminals from the belt. Either one, when working on dampers with the syringe bleeding out your inks, and then you accidentally spill inks, and then it flows with the belt into the electricals. And then two, when the machine is running a cycle of cleans throughout as you print. The wiper has a tendency of leaving a few inks flowing way up above and then getting into the cable. So to combat that problem, we've got two options. The initial option was a printed rubber seal. Right, with this printed rubber seal, goes on to the printhead like so, and then separates or creates a rubber cell that will separate, one, the belts from having ink flowing into the terminals. This, however, is not foolproof, and the chances in the event your printer uh, gets accidentally hit by uh, an electrical surge. The power supplies are grounded onto the body of the machine and the machine is metal. So it discharges that electrical surge right through the body of the machine and into the ground of the building. So if the printer doesn't have a rubber cell, these screws and this metal guard of the nozzles and the circuit board are all mounted together with these screws. So that charge will go to this plate and also create a shock onto the printer. Then there is the highly appraised pre-sealed print head. Now let's move to the new improved XP600 print head coming with the Epson cables already connected and sealed 
by robotic arms with silicone. Right, so in this case, you find that this pretend has already been connected, the cables, and the silicone is sealing also underneath and on the top side, protecting all the electrical part of the printhead from any inks going onto it. This is a special type of silicone, it's not like the same silicone you get in a hard way. So this is engineered to be very agile against the inks eating it. Right, so this printhead has got the advantage that there is no error of you trying to match the tracks onto the printhead when connecting the cables and then you accidentally insert the cable skew causing your printhead either to give you an error 16 or the printhead getting electronically surged. Right, and then on extra protection, on the shock of the carriage smashing in onto the side of the printhead, you can still add the first edition rubber cell to separate the metal casing of the printhead with this old type of rubber cell. So this will protect your printhead from the electrical surges discharged either from the power supply or from your electricity supply since now the printhead is not resting on the metal carriage and also with the base screws sitting there directly. We have noticed that some people opt for refurbished printheads and even though AM doesn't recommend it, we do offer a solution for this market as well, the rubber casings. In the event uh, you will now have a refurbished printhead, you will notice that the silicone surrounding the circuit board of the printhead would have been removed in the order to for them to gain access in repairing the printhead. The silicone that was protecting the circuit board has been removed. And in most cases, this silicone is added mechanically by robotic arms and machinery. So after refurbishing a printhead, most uh, repair shops do not have that machine to re-add the silicone so in this case, this rubber casing is the perfect choice for this type of printing because it fills it with much more greater capability. And yet, even with all these precautions, due to the nature and the working environment of print heads, you may still experience problems. In which case, AM now offers a printhead service complete with ultrasound deep flushing for UV, water-based and solvent printheads. We do have a printhead unclogging service now in place where we use our newly acquired printhead ultrasonic cleaner machine that is able to extensively and carefully unclog the printhead and be able to open all the nozzles so with this new technique of using the ultrasonic cleaner, we are able to unclog the printhead. However, we will not be able to fix the printhead if it's electronically searched. So for any queries or questions you might have regarding the printheads and the printhead cells and the printhead unclogging service, you can give us a call at support or better, come in and see us and we can have a chat and tell you all the necessary uh, details you may need to know. The printhead cleaning service, however, does require you to process a drop-off authorization so that dispatch is able to take in your printhead and assign a technician to give it an ultrasonic clean. Printheads are like the heart of the printing machine and therefore it must be cared for properly. You're welcome to call the technical department for any further information.
2023 marks the 10th anniversary of am.co.za in the South African market. And through that time, we have experienced considerable growth and expansion with the support of our valued customers. To mark our 10th anniversary, we have bought a warehouse at Sunny Rock in East Rand, and we will commence with renovation and construction in 2023. The facility will comprise a massive 2,000 square meter warehouse, 300 square meters of demonstration space, 150 square meters of sales space and 400 square meters of spare part storage on the top floor. 550 square meters of showroom space on the middle floor. 400 square meters for Machine.Africa for machine repairs with its own dedicated entrance. And a 250 square meter tea garden and coffee shop for your convenience. Our group now comprises four businesses. AM.co.za is our main business and supplies the machines, spare parts and consumables. Machine.Africa does the installations for our clients and handles on-site and factory repairs. Ambitious Academy ensures that our clients achieve the very best levels of productivity by providing training and certification. And our automated AI-driven online store, Buy This, brings all products online and distributes countrywide. We invite you to be part of this exciting journey as we establish our new headquarters. Watch as the process unfolds and be part of the adventure to meet all of your machinery and productivity needs with this magnificent new facility. AM.co.za. Achievement matters.